Hey people, it's Kakwa here and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to check out the new Techno Camon 18 Premiere. And right off the bat, I can tell you this is one of my favorite Techno devices ever. Is it absolutely best at everything? Well, no. But for most people, including you, this is going to give you one of the best Techno experiences you've ever felt. Without taking much of your time, let's get to the video. So let's get unboxing. Let's see what comes in the box when you decide to pick this up. The box looks pretty clean and thinner than I remember from Techno devices. And for a minute there, I was thinking maybe we might not be getting a power break in the box like most manufacturers are doing lately. What do you think? What would you have felt about that? Like getting a Techno Camon 18 and not finding any power break in the box? Let me know in the comment section. Opening it up, you are greeted with a phone wrapped in a plastic covering. It looks really clean. A 12 month warranty card, a protective case, a type c cable and some earphones and a pretty thick brick for a charger like i always do let's start with the design and work our way into the device for design and build this is my second favorite feature of this device it looks modern minimal and premium i think techno knocked this out of the park yes it has a plastic back but some might argue plastic is more durable and you won't be worried about dropping this anytime soon nice one techno I actually like this. I feel the design language is one that looks and feels really good and well thought of. I really don't rock cases at the moment, even though this comes with a case in the box. This looks really good and I won't be bothered about breaking it anytime I drop it. It has this slight matte finish which does a really good job at hiding fingerprints. Not forgetting the camera design at the back though. I think it looks like something some other manufacturers are doing. It has this nice red ring on the middle one and I think it looks really cool. A little bit more about the cameras later. For display, we have got a full screen control display with minimal bezels. Almost as small as what I have on my Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, which to say it's very small. I really appreciate it at this price point. This is a full HD Plus 120Hz 6.7 inch 1080p AMOLED display with 550 nits of peak brightness. This is a flat display with a punch hole camera in the top middle. It's sharp and vivid. The colors are pretty vibrant for this device and for a minute I thought the 550 nits of brightness was not going to be usable outdoors but for my eyes this was plenty good. Using it outdoors was not an issue at all. Animations are smooth, opening and closing apps are refreshing to look at plus the gestures and all the screen is one you are not going to be complaining about. Watching media on this is nice, but we have a mono speaker here, a thinny one too which I wish wasn't so, a stereo speaker setup would have sealed the deal. Just for the placement of your hand anytime that you are consuming content on this as you can easily block the speaker found down below. About the fingerprint sensor in the power button on the right, this works great, fast and secure. When I hold the phone, it feels right at home, but that's cause I know it's there. The button sits flush with the device and if you are not looking, you might not be able to tell right away. But once you use it for a while, you get used to it. You know what techno, next time maybe just make it a little bit textured, that would be really cool. Thank you. Also on this device, you have a USB-C port and headphone jack below, a dual nano SIM slot on the right side, which should be okay for the design for now. For colors, this comes with the ocean moonlight and summer breeze. I think I have the moonlight here. So in general, for design and the build, the Techno Camon 18 Premier is solid. Like I said, I like the design. It feels really good in the hand. Everything feels like it's supposed to be there. I actually like the plastic, like I said, it's actually more durable and I'm kind of digging it. In terms of specs and performance, I'm really enjoying the Helio G96. This comes with a standard 256 plus 8GB memory across board and that's what I love about this device. What I love a little bit more about this device though is the user experience. You remember those annoying ads that come anytime that you get techno devices? Well, it's gone. You get no ads with this device. The Camon 18 comes with a cleaned up interface with no ads at all, high OS based on Android 11 which is going to receive Android 12 updates sweet. You still have all those techno features like big proof, theft alert and a little bit more. The device is pretty decent in terms of performance and can withstand pretty much anything I throw at it for my day to day usage. Gameplay is decent too. This is the Geekbench Core. From my research, this seems to be in the same range as the Samsung Galaxy A72. Let me know if you want a comparison between two devices and I'm going to make it happen. 
I also like the always on display. In the settings, you get a couple to choose from, which is really cool. I also like the quick setting shade. It looks really minimal. Wait, there's something worth mentioning when it comes to the top part of the device. To access your notification though, you have to swipe from the left side. And for the quick setting shade, you have to swipe from the right side. It took a little while for me to get used to it, but I think it's really cool. Moving on to the battery life, this comes with a 4750 mAh battery which supports 33 watts of fast charging. I think the efficient chipset and somewhat huge battery capacity combined make this an all day champ. And if you ever need to use this up, you get 60% battery life in 30 minutes of charge and a full battery in about an hour and 5 minutes or so. Okay, so for the cameras, I'm going to let my friend Delpy walk us through that. He's going to take us through everything that you should know about the Techno Common 18 Premier's cameras. Okay, so just as Rick said, I have had my time exploiting the cameras on the Common 18 Premiere and I must say I am mostly intrigued by how good the cameras are on this particular device. Now don't get me wrong, there might be some hitches in the camera but trust me, let's start off with the rear side of the device. On the rear side of the device, you are getting three powerful cameras from the Techno Common 18 Premiere which are a 64 megapixel main camera lens an 8 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide gimbal OIS stabilization system on this device. Now this is the main marketing or selling feature of the Common 18 Premiere because this feature allows you to take videos in a very steady mode and what the sensor basically does is it shifts itself or balances itself whilst taking a video to give you that steady or the stiff feature you'd get when recording videos. Now I'm talking too much about the rear cameras, let's talk about the selfie camera. For 32 megapixels, you're going to get a lot of amazing pictures out of the selfie camera on the Common 18 Premiere. There are so many modes you can try out. We have the film mode, the video mode, we have AI cam, and then beauty mode for the girls girls who would go ahead and take very beautiful pictures with some sweet effects on your face whilst you're taking a selfie. Now here's a video sample coming out from the selfie camera of the Common 18 Premiere. Okay, so this is a selfie camera video footage from the Common 18 Premiere. Um, do let us know your thoughts in the comment section about what you think about this uh, particular video. I mean, there are lights blowing up on my face all over, so you know, in good lighting conditions, I think you can have the best, um, the best output from the selfie camera on the Common 18 Premiere. That was my door. Sorry. Before I forget, there is an 8 megapixel periscope telephoto lens on the Common 18 Premiere that I found very intriguing because this telephoto lens will give you the ability to take zoomed in images of up to 60 times. We did take a sample shot and this is how it came out. Now of course, you don't only get the ability to take pictures with that amount of zoom on the Common 18 Premiere. In the video side of things, the telephoto lens also does some magic. We did take some zoomed in video footages and that was up to 15 times and the distance at which we could get detailed video from the Common 18 Premiere's telephoto lens was very crazy. I really, really, really marveled at how close up we could get to those people standing up high on that tower. There is an exciting feature I was never thinking would happen on such a device which is the bokeh mode, something of a cinematic style video mode on the Common 18 Premiere for selfie video. Now the selfie video, you are able to get bokeh behind you with more focus being on you, the individual taking the video. So it gives you that detailed separation between you and the subjects behind you. And man, that is so crazy. I think if you want to get the phone, you should try that out. Especially if you don't have money for the cinematic mode for the original guys. <laughs> that was not necessary. But hey, that is a very interesting feature I could personally find myself using on the Common 18 Premiere. Now, if you're looking for cameras um, on a techno device so far, this one has the best to offer you on the market at the moment. I personally would recommend that if you're somebody who is into techno devices and is more concerned about the cameras, you should check this device out. Okay, so I'm Dopey and I'll catch you on my channel sometime. Like, How do I? I don't understand. Yeah,
All right, so head to my channel, subscribe. We are hoping to give you more content uh, as well. You'll be seeing more of me on Rick's channel as well. Uh, I don't know, just, just, just. Thank you so much, Delpy, for that detailed camera review. Um, so I think that is it for now. Let me try and summarize everything that we have going on here. So for design and build, I like the plastic. I think it looks good. I like the matte finish at the back too. That is really cool. And actually, that's a really good job at hiding fingerprints. So clutch that's good for the display this is really cool too this is really big at 6.7 inches it's an amoled panel and also has a 120 hertz refresh rate like techno is trying here like thank you for that for battery a 4700 milliampere battery is clutch the cameras the stabilization the gimbal look when you get what you are recording videos on here is really good and also the cinematic look looking video is actually cool for this price and getting all those features i think the techno on 18 premiere is a really solid device performance wise too it wasn't terrible so this is actually worth recommending this will be going for 2060 ghana cities if you're thinking about picking this up it's good for performance design and screen capabilities camera too is good so thank you for spending time with me let me know if you have any questions about this in the comment section i'm going to help you with that i'll see you in my next video peace I'm out.